Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 16. We're going to be looking at drawing a line, and let's get right to it. So everything else is the same, so we're just going to jump right into the line, single line.js as before. Everything should look familiar. You'll see the init buffers in here, and all of this should look familiar to you from last time. With the exception that we can now have dot draw arrays is calling gl.lines rather than point. We have two vertices here, and so we have two points, one point here, one point there, and you can see there is what the line looks like. Very simply, the rest of this is identical to the last episode, so very, very simple. And what you can actually do with this is we can, you know, if we want to give it four points, we can do something like this, and refresh, and now we have two lines, as we have one line for here and one line for these two vertices. If we go ahead and say that we only have two vertices, then it only draws out the first two, even if the buffer here is given a lot more. And so that's the importance of setting up the um, the buffer here to actually have the correct number of vertices, which is ultimately drawn in draw arrays right there. So, because we return that in from the init buffers. Now, I didn't mention this last time, but if we have, say we have more vertices than are actually given here, uh, what's going to end up happening is we're going to end up with an error. You're going to see this GL invalid operation. GL draw arrays is attempting to access out of range vertices in attribute zero. So attribute zero is a position. And so since it's trying to reach for things that aren't actually applicable and accessible, uh, so you need to make sure you are either pre-calculating the number of vertices or you know it ahead of time. And we'll be looking at that kind of thing in a future episode. That's it for today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and sign up for a newsletter. Thank you.